As my fate was handed to me, I never expected it to lead me here. Being given the chance to experience in a shared journey which brought two people together. I now attempt to give a short description of this unique travel. It was everywhere and nowhere. It was a time of no time. Love didn't exist in the world. Not to mention color. Out of the sky I came, always trying to get someplace that I wasn't exactly sure was there. The last time I was flying, I fell asleep at the guide bar. Sometimes when I'm sitting alone, I think I'm sleeping with my eyes open, and I can't wake up. Grounded. I didn't trust the ground. You can't trust. Always have something to fall back on. This land consists of nothing more than alleyways and tall chimneys of brick that spew out black smoke, which blocks out the sun more and more every day. Some place that looked the same as the rest of the world. Nowhere. While I slept, the rusty flying tarp descended me safely. Its tattered wings gave off a rubbery smell as they burned from the sparks of the engine. But I wasn't hurt. Small miracle, I wondered. Now I realize how wrong I was. Big fate. Time didn't change much for a place that didn't have it. The sun sat frozen in the sky as usual. 40 watt bulb. So-called time was in its bleakest state of existence. A place in which nothing was enjoyable. Life itself was unendurable. It could not actually be lived. People who lived there, in a mass subconscious hallucination, brought the past, the future, and the fictitious into the present moment. We felt that there was more to life than we knew. Little did anyone know that it was love. How are we supposed to know? I told you love didn't exist in the world. Or color. I'd forgotten how much I hated walking. Sighs of relief left my lips because I didn't see any people. I hated people. They made me sick. Literally. I would get nauseous in crowds. I just wanted to be left alone. So I ran away. I'm still gone. Running away sometimes works for the better. Sometimes. Sometimes you find yourself. I never wanted anything other than myself. I'd recognize myself anywhere because people don't change. Situations do. I knew mine was going to change. I could smell it in the wind. I was either going to run into myself or kill myself like any other person would, living in non-existence. These two choices were far more than I thought I deserved. I kept on walking. Coincidentally, I found the truck I was born in. I'd remember it anywhere even though it happened far away. I always hated my birth. I have a good memory for painful things. Loneliness. It started to set in. I welcomed it, grasping for any kind of emotion. It whispered in my ear and we went to sleep. Lever is a thin boy who lives in this black and gray world. His eyes are clean and his face cold with pain. How many times has he been in this alley, 